Seven Baddest Native American Leaders 1. Geronimo The iconic Geronimo led the Chiricola Apache. His family was killed by Mexican soldiers. He vowed revenge. Geronimo liked close quarters combat. He didn't use long-range arrows. He charged enemies in a zigzag to avoid being shot. He used a knife against Mexican soldiers. He had alleged mystical abilities. It took 8,000 troops to capture him in 1886. 2. Crazy Horse Crazy Horse's birth name was Tashun K. Whitco. He was raised by the women of his Oglala Lakota family. In his youth, he underwent a rite of passage called Humblechiapi. This rite involved crying for a vision. He spent four days in the Black Hills without food or water. He later fought in the Fetterman Massacre. He also led the charge at the Battle of the Little Big Horn. Crazy Horse refused to be photographed during his lifetime. 3. Black Hawk Black Hawk was the chief of the Sauk tribe. He contested the 1804 Treaty of St. Louis, which ceded land to the U.S. In 1812, he joined forces with the British against the Americans. A peace treaty after the War of 1812 reinforced the 1804 Treaty. Black Hawk claimed the treaty lacked full tribal authorization. In 1832, he and his British band moved into Illinois. The Battle of Stillman's Run ensued between them and the Illinois militia. The militia then pursued Black Hawk. This led to the Black Hawk War. 4. Sitting Bull Sitting Bull became a warrior at 14. In the 1860s, he fought alongside Red Cloud. He led the Hunt Lakotas in the Great Sioux War of 1876. He had a vision of military triumph. It foreshadowed General Custer's defeat at the Battle of the Little Big Horn. In 1881, Sitting Bull surrendered. He briefly joined Buffalo Bill's Wild West Show, but he never abandoned his renegade ways. He was killed while resisting arrest in 1890. 5. Tecumseh Tecumseh was a Shawnee chief. He strongly resisted American intrusion. Tecumseh and his brother Tenskwatawa founded Prophets Down in Indiana Territory. They rallied support for a Pan-Indian alliance. Prophets Down was destroyed. Tecumseh was killed by Harrison's forces. 6. Red Cloud Red Cloud was a prominent Oglala Lakota chief. He gained experience for skirmishes with the Pawnee and Crow tribes. In the latter half of the 19th century, he focused on white settlers. He ignited Red Cloud's war. He achieved a victory at the Fetterman Massacre. Years later, Red Cloud became an elder statesman, advocating for Native American rights. He traveled to Washington, D.C. for this cause. In the 1870s, he met President Ulysses S. Grant. 7. Woman Chief Woman Chief belonged to the Grovant people. She was kidnapped by the Crow at age 10. During her time with the Crow, she was named Pine Leaf. Woman Chief became a formidable chief of the tribe. She earned respect by fending off Blackfoot attackers. She always returned with scalps and horses. Woman Chief was two-spirit, with both masculine and feminine spirits. She had several female sexual partners and four wives. Even in battle, she wore feminine attire.